so for this video i'm back on my friend's account on her female character to show you guys another modded outfit for the um, female characters i guess so for this um for this glitch to work so you're gonna make sure that you um you main a female character so if you don't mean a female character then don't do this glitch because you're not gonna be able to get it on your guy characters only for the female characters so you're gonna be losing all your outfits so before you um start the glitch put on the outfit that you don't want to lose and then you're gonna end up keeping the outfit that you don't want to lose at the end of the glitch so to start it and also make sure that you bought either an earpiece or a rebreather from ammunition so just go to ammunition and buy either an earpiece or a rebreather so to start it up just go ahead and hit your pause button go to online and go into swap character So once the two characters come in here, you just want to go ahead and go over to the second character. And if you go over to the second character and you don't see edit on the bottom right, just go ahead and delete the second character. And when the two new characters come loading in, you should see the edit button. But if you see the edit button on your character, go ahead and um, press whatever button it, it is for you to edit that character. And then you're going to get this alert right here. If you get this alert, just go ahead and accept it. So if the second character ended up being um, a female, just going to change it into a male right here. But if it was already a male character, just go ahead and save and continue and you're going to have to make a name for it. Any random name, doesn't matter. And then you're going to go ahead and take the picture and then after that, it's going to load the um, casino DLC trailer. So after you load inside your new session, you just want to go ahead and open your mini map. And you want to look for um the clothing stores if you don't see any clothing stores like i don't see no clothing stores right here go ahead and just um find new session or change sessions and when you get inside a new session you should see the clothing store spawn inside or appear on the mini map So we just got inside a new session and I'm just gonna open up my mini map and as you can see um, it got clothing stores on it so just make your way over to any of the clothing stores. So when you get to the clothing store just go to the top section, go to the um, arena war tops, go to nightmare and purchase the burger shot hoodie. So go to the top section, top section, go to arena war tops, nightmare and then purchase the burger shot hoodie. And then after that go to the um, the pants section go to sport pants and purchase the tropical print running so make sure you go to um sport pants not sports pant because there's two of them and i went to the other one and got um i got confused i couldn't find the um couldn't find the pants so make sure you go to sport without the s sport pants and buy the tropical print running and then after that go to um the boots the shoe section go to boots and buy the black scruffy boots i think i went past it once but just go to the um, shoe section go to boots and purchase the black scruffy boots
So now after you've got the boots, we're just gonna go over to the glove section and we're gonna purchase the lightwood line tactical gloves, which should be number four. Just go to the accessories, go to the gloves, and purchase the light woodland tactical gloves. Hey. So once you got that, go ahead and come and save the outfit. And when you save it, make sure you don't save it in the same slot that your main character has the outfit you don't want to lose in. So if my main character has the outfit I didn't want to lose in the slot 20, I would go ahead and save this in a different slot. So just go ahead and save it in the empty slot that's on your um, main character or just saving a slot that your main character has the outfit on that you don't want to lose in so after that just go ahead and open up your interaction menu and go ahead and take the easy way out after you've um, saved the outfit so after um, you spawn after taking the easy way out just go ahead and hit your pause button go to online and go into creator So when you're to creator, you guys go ahead and go to create a race and then you want to go to land race. So just go ahead and go to create a race and go then go to land race. And after that, go ahead and click on race details. Go ahead and fill out other options for the race triangles. And it doesn't matter what you put in the description or the title, it just has to be just fill them out. It doesn't have to be anything specific. And then go ahead and put the maximum players on two and put the route type on point to point. Just and then just hit your pause button and just go over to the airport and just warp over to the airport. So after you uh, spawn at the air, airport, just go ahead and hit B and then go to placements and then go ahead and place the triggers and then take the lobby camera and then after that just go ahead and place the checkpoints. Now the race has to be only 1.00 miles long or longer than 1.00 miles. Just make it like 1.01 miles long or like 1.02 miles long. Just as long as it's 1.00 miles or more than 1.00 miles long. And then when you finish making a race, go ahead and hit B twice so it gives you the option to test the race. So when you finish the race, you're gonna get that alert right there. Go ahead and accept it. And then when you spawn in, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online and just go into choose character. So when the two characters come loading in, go ahead and go over to your male character, which should be the second character, and go ahead and hit delete on that male character. So just go ahead and go to that second character and hit delete on him. And then you're gonna ask you to confirm it. So after you delete that second character and you confirm it, it's gonna walk in with two new characters and you just wanna go ahead and hit B. So it backs you onto single player or it backs you onto story mode, whichever one you wanna call it. So just go ahead and hit, go ahead and hit B when the two new characters come walking in. So when you get into single player, just go into your pause button, go to online, go to play GT online, and just go into everybody only session. Right, so when you load into online if you like the outfit that you didn't want to lose just go ahead and go ahead and save it and go ahead and save it towards the bottom so it doesn't mess up when you're merging the other outfits so just go ahead and save the outfit that you didn't want to lose towards the bottom so now we're gonna go to the um top section we're gonna go ahead and go to racing jerseys and we're gonna buy the downhill motocross racing jersey so just go ahead and go to the top section go to racing jerseys and purchase the downhill motocross jersey Alright, so after you got that, you just want to go ahead and go to the pants section, go to cargo pants, and go ahead and buy the sand cargo. So go to the pants section, go to cargo pants, and purchase the sand cargo. After you bought that, go ahead and go to the, sh um, the shoe section, go to boots, and go ahead and purchase the chocolate tech boots. So go to the shoe section, go to boots, and purchase the chocolate tech boots.
I can see you wearing that. All right, so once you got that, just go ahead and hit your pause button. Go to um, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created. Go ahead and start up, and go to versus, and then go ahead and start up the job called Crooked Cops. And when you start up the job called Crooked Cops, you're gonna need either a friend or a random to join. And you wanna also put the clothing on player owned when you load inside Crooked Cops, or the glitch isn't gonna work. So when you start up Crooked Cops, make sure you put the clothing on player owned, and then invite either um your friend or the random to help you out. So when um the job loads up go ahead and go to the owned outfits and hit right on the d-pad only once and you should get that outfit right there so i'm just um seeing what happens if you hit it twice but what you gotta do is just hit it once and then you should get this outfit that i got on right now so um when you when you get this outfit when you hit right on the d-pad once and you get this outfit just go ahead and ready up and tell your friend or the random to ready up and then um, when you load in you should have the yellow joggers with like the whole invisible torso and just the bikini and the um, racing gloves with um, I think sports shoes but I'm not sure but you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about in a few seconds yeah so once you got that and you load in the job go ahead and um, open up your interaction menu go to styles go to accessories and put on either a rebreather or um, an earpiece whichever one you guys want so you're gonna put on a rebreather or earpiece and then after that you just want to go ahead and open up your phone and you just want to quit the job from your phone Alright, so when you load inside a new session, you just want to go ahead and go to this gun ammunition or gun shot, and you just want to go ahead and go save the outfit. And when you save the outfit, you can delete the component because you don't need the component for it anymore. So just go ahead and go save this outfit, and you guys um, can customize it however you want. You can put a parachute on it and all that. I'm not sure if you, could, if you could put scarves on it, but I know you can put a parachute on and a helmet. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like on it. Share, subscribe, and don't get to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any other videos.